Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be looking at uh, finding point of intersection uh, for linear graphs. So uh, what I will uh, focus on is uh, the two methods. Uh, one will be by graphing and uh, the other one will be solving it simultaneously. We'll look at the first method, uh, finding the point of intersection by graphing. Uh, so in this example, it says find the point of intersection uh, between the two lines. Uh, the first one's y equals to x uh, take away 7 and uh, y is equal to 4x uh, plus 2. Uh, what I would suggest is if you can pause the video and uh, draw these two lines. Let's uh, quickly plot the uh, points. So the um, so I hope your graph is similar to this one. Uh, so you got uh, the um, graph there. So what I would suggest is uh, you could either use a table of values or a gradient intercept method that I have covered in my uh, previous videos. So please do check that one out. Once you've got the uh, two um, lines plotted, so as you can see here, the place where they cross, the two lines uh, meet or two lines cross each other is uh, referred to as a point of intersection. And uh, it's easy to read this off uh, often from the graph. So in this instance, the uh, point of intersection between these two lines is negative three, which is the X value. Um, and the y coordinate is negative 10. So the point of intersection is negative 3, negative 10. All right, so it's pretty straightforward, but you need to know uh, how to uh, plot the graphs. Now we'll look at the um, uh, second method, uh, solving this simultaneously. Uh, so again, uh, same question. Uh, we want to find the point of intersection uh, algebraically this time uh, between the two lines 4x plus 2 and uh, y is equal to uh, x take over 7. The method that I will uh, use in this uh, case is the substitution method. So what we do is we set the equations y is equal to y. So in this case it says y is uh, equal to 4x uh, plus 2. So what that means is y is same as uh, 4x plus 2 and the other one it says y is uh, same as uh, x uh, take away uh, 7. So we'll uh, put those together so y is equal to 4x plus 2. Now this is same as uh, x take away 7. So we put those together. And then uh, what we uh, do is we are solving uh, for uh, x. So we try and put all the uh, variables on one side of the equal sign and uh, numbers on the other side. So when we switch, we uh, switch the sign. So you can see plus has uh, gone on the other side of the equal sign. It's now minus. And this positive 2 is going on the other side of the equal sign. And it changes from plus 2 to minus 2. And then we can quickly um, simplify this. So 4x take away x is uh, 3x. And negative 7 take away 2 is negative 9. So, and then it's pretty easy from there. So divide by 3 on both sides. And that gives you x value of negative 3. Remember, we want to find the point of intersection. Now, point means uh, we need um, x coordinate as well as the y coordinate. So this one is the x coordinate. So what we uh, then need to do is uh, uh, find the... Um, y value to get the y value we need to substitute the x value that we have just um, calculated and uh, we can use uh, either of the two equations to find the y value because um, this point uh, is common to uh, both the equations so it's easier to use uh, y is equal to x uh, take away 7 because uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, um, if you've used four, if you're using 4x plus 2, still you'll get the same answer. So what I'm doing is I'm substituting uh, x with uh, negative 3. So x value is negative 3. So negative 3 take away 7 will give you y value of negative 10. And then uh, we'll put this together. Therefore, the uh, point of intersection is negative 3, negative 10. I do um, uh, suggest you to uh, pause the video and... Um, uh, do it yourself first and see if uh, your answer matches with this one. Uh, things like solving uh, equations. So the concept of solving equations, you will need to be familiar with uh, how to solve linear equations and collecting uh, like terms as well. Here's the second uh, question. So what I'd suggest is um, uh, pause the video and uh, try and do these uh, yourself. And you can match the answers later. So in this case, it says uh, find the point of intersection by graphing these lines. So question one has got um, uh, two equations here. So 2x take away 2 uh, and uh, y is equal to negative x uh, plus 4. So we'll uh, 
plot these graphs. So the first one is uh, 2x take away 2, the blue line, and then uh, the red one is uh, x um, uh, minus x plus 4. So once the two lines are plotted, it's easy to um, see where they intersect. So in this case, uh, read of the uh, x value first. So x is 2 as well as the y value is 2. So the um, point of intersection is 2, 2. Uh, second example um, says y is equal to x plus 1 and the other one is negative 3x plus 5. So x plus 1. Uh, so that's the y intercept as you can see. Uh, you can use either of the two methods I've covered. So you can use uh, table, um, uh, you can complete table of values and plot points, or you can use gradient um, intercept method, like uh, I got the intercept of one here, and I know the gradient is one as well. So just go one step up and one across, get that point, and then one up, one across. So please do check my previous video. I've covered that uh, in the other video so do the same thing with the second one so you plot the graph of negative 3x uh, plus 5 which is the red line here and it's pretty easy to uh, read of where they intersect so um, the point of intersection here is uh, 1 comma 2 hope that makes sense and now moving on uh, we will uh, try and apply this uh, uh, basic skill in um, solving word problems of course that's the uh, um, nature of the assessment so in this case uh, it says uh, tim weighs 120 pounds and is gaining 10 pounds uh, each month uh, tim weighs um, 150 pounds and is gaining four pounds each month uh, how many months will it take for tim to weigh the same as tim for word problems i've mentioned that um, in my previous video um, how to um, decipher the information given in uh, uh, context and uh, form uh, equations so you will need to um, look for keywords and uh, form equations please do check my previous video on this uh, so I've got the um, two pieces of information I need will be uh, slope and uh, the y intercept so in this case um, Tim is equal to Tim and um, so that's when the, the weight will be same the um, function that um, mimics um, uh, team's weight is uh, 120 pounds so that's initial so initial is the y intercept so 120 pounds plus 10 pounds each month so 10 m so that's the equation there i could have written uh, 10 m plus 120 so either way is fine but you need to know this is y intercept which is 120 and the slope value is 10 which is the rate of change for Tim he's initially weighing 150 pounds so 150 pounds plus uh, is gaining uh, four pounds uh, each month so four is the rate value rate at which his uh, weight is increasing so plus um, uh, four m m indicates uh, months is indicated in the question uh, so don't uh, confuse this m with slope right moving on we'll solve this uh, simultaneously um, so um, what we do is take away m on both sides so if i uh, so in other words i'm moving this m on the other side collecting like terms and um, then uh, i'll have 120 plus 6 m is 150 because that's zero now and then i'll move this 120 on the other side so 6 m equals 150 take away 20 remember you uh, uh, chain sides you chain sign so positive 120 will become negative 120 so 150 take away 120 is uh, 30 of course divide by 6 gives you m value of 5 and then you write a sentence so it will take five months for tim and tim to wear the same please do check uh, my previous video on uh, how to um, identify keywords and uh, use them to form equations thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video